7 Signs That You Are Commitment Phobic and How You Can Get Over It There are many instances where the fear of being happy takes precedence over the merriment in budding and veteran relationships, if you partake in this consistent refusal of joy and contentment, this may be one of the first signs that you are commitment phobic. When it comes to the dating scene, it is common for people to allow their emotions to influence their actions. However, there are some hashtag people who subconsciously try to find ways to avoid forging tight-knit bonds before they can truly connect with anyone. Equipped with this list of hashtag signs that you are commitment phobic, you will be more than ready to get over your fear by taking the necessary steps to combat your own actions. 1. Sabotage one of the hashtag first signs that you are commitment phobic is if you constantly end your relationships with little to no warning. At the mere sign of any obstacle, you try to find an excuse to put an end to your hashtag relationship. You are essentially stopping hashtag things from advancing in the event that something goes wrong. You shouldn't stop yourself from making a connection with your hashtag partner before it gets any further in fear that it will end tragically no one can know for certain what will happen. The best way to fight this is to remain calm and collected, and put hashtag everything into perspective. Who knows what the future holds? 2. One Man Band Does the thought of being linked to one person make you want to run for the hills? If the answer is yes, this shows that you may be afraid of committing yourself to your hashtag relationship. Tying yourself down to one person isn't so scary once you realize that all these means is that you are willing to be faithful to your hashtag partner, something you've been doing anyway. 3. Steady Buddies If you are dreading the day that your hashtag relationship reaches a deeper level, this could possibly mean that you are afraid of change. Hashtag people who are afraid of commitment often think along the lines of this, if everything is great the way it is right now, why should I change anything? You have to remember that while getting serious with your partner is a big step, it shouldn't equate to breaking hashtag things off just to avoid this change. Life is all about exploring the unknown. 4. Goals You don't want your relationship to get serious because you won't have time to work on any of your life goals. Making a commitment to your hashtag partner will not spell the end for your plans. You can still maintain your hashtag relationship while chasing after your dreams. You just have to find ways to effectively manage your hashtag time. 5. Looking for a way out. There is nothing wrong with wanting to escape from a hashtag relationship that you find suffocating. However, in order to go about it the right way, you have to first assess your situation. It is important to figure out whether you are looking for an escape route because you can't deal with any more mishaps with your hashtag partner, or because you're commitment phobic. Don't break away just to get out of any promises that you made. 6. Missing Link One of the hashtag the best ways to judge whether you are commitment phobic is by taking a look at yourself outside your relationship. More specifically, Try to hashtag look for signs in your everyday activities that show that it is hard for you to stick to one thing. I believe that your level of dedication to completing daily tasks correlates to your ability to forge romantic commitments. 7. Advice Stop worrying. This will only cause you to become overstressed, resulting in your fear growing. The first step is accepting that you are afraid of making commitments and taking the initiative to change. Denial will only cause you to regress instead of progress toward your goals. Always take everything into perspective and live your life one day at a hashtag time. Working on overcoming commitment phobia is a highly commendable feat. Have you ever felt like you were too afraid to commit to something and therefore didn't go for it? How did this make you feel?